Here to speak to us about the Father's blessing, please welcome Richard Brunton. God in His wisdom has decided to bless His children through the fathers, through the human fathers. And when that doesn't happen, there's a void. And we try and fill that void with inappropriate things. And I've found, having now done this, I don't think I'd be exaggerating if I said maybe two or three thousand times or two or three thousand men, that the great majority, like something over 90 percent of men, have never had their father lay hands on them and bless them. Fathers laid hands on them, all right, but not to bless them. <laughs> and you see, the father's blessing is just so important for, for a number of reasons. You know, for one thing, it breaks a curse. I don't really fully understand this, I must say, but it does. And uh, I particularly remember, in fact, no, I, it'll take too long, but I, I've seen men physically healed as well as emotionally and spiritually healed by the Father's blessing. Just amazing. It can be the difference between success and failure or victory and defeat. It's also, it's, it's the work and the presence of the Holy Spirit to break curses, but it's also the work and presence of the Holy Spirit to impart joy and peace and success and fruitfulness and health and protection, this sort of thing. And as David has just said, you know, we all need to be affirmed by our fathers. Jesus, even Jesus needed to be affirmed by his fathers, by his father. This is my beloved son with whom, I'd well, with whom I'm well pleased. And as David pointed out, he hadn't done a miracle at that point. He hadn't probably given a sermon at that point. He was affirmed simply because he was daddy's boy. Thank you, David. So you see, there's a solution to this. And I'm going to offer to stand in your father's place and bless you as a substitute so that you can receive what you never got. And the Holy Spirit is going to, is going to do this. The Holy Spirit is here right now and he's eager and waiting to be released over you. Okay? I'm going to speak the words, but the words are going to be powerless without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to empower the blessing that I'm going to speak over you. I know this is going to, going to happen. Now, receiving is intentional. And I want you to stand. If you want this blessing, I'm going to ask you to stand, please, to honor the Holy Spirit. You see, I also would like you to open your hands because it's an outward sign of you opening your heart. And I'd like you to close your eyes. Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, precious, beautiful Holy Spirit, come upon, Lord, each man standing. Lord, come in love, come in power. You're so beautiful, Holy Spirit. And we just love you to bits. Just come upon each man, Lord. Lord, I just acknowledge that this is your presence and your work. And me and I'm going to speak to you now as if I was your father, okay? I love you, my son. I love you. You're special. You're a gift from God to me. And I'm privileged to be your father. Son, I want you to know that I love you and I'm proud of you. Did you get that? I'm proud of you. Proud of you. And now I bless you. 
I bless you with the healing of all wounds of the heart. The wound of rejection, particularly. But maybe it's negligence or maybe it's abuse. But whatever the wounds of the heart, Jesus, I ask you now to run your ointment over, over each and every wound. And I break the power of every cruel and unjust word spoken over you. I break their power now in the name of Jesus Christ. Son, I ask you to forgive my sins for the mistakes that I've made and your mother's and the sins and the mistakes of, of your ancestors. And I break every curse off you that has come down through the generation as a result of those sins. I break them now. I break, break, break in Jesus' name. I release freedom over you right now in Jesus' name. Ah, freedom. I bless you with overflowing peace. Peace that comes from the Prince of Peace. Peace that passes all understanding. My son, I bless you with fruitfulness, good fruit, abundant fruit, fruit that lasts. Men, I bless you with success. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. I bless you with health and strength of body, soul, and spirit. I bless you to prosper, that you'd always have enough, and more than enough, that you might be a blessing to others. I bless you with spiritual influence. You are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Arise and shine. I bless you to see and to draw out and celebrate the golden people, not the dirt. I bless you to look at women the right way, as Jesus did and does. My son, I bless you to release God in the workplace, not just with your good character and your testimony, as important as they are, but with the excellence of your work. And I release right now a spirit, the same spirit of excellence that was in Daniel. I release it over you right now, that you would glorify God with the excellence and the beauty and the creativity of your work. I bless you with a depth of spiritual understanding and a closer walk with your Lord. You will not stumble nor falter. For the word of God is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. I bless you with good friends. You have favor with God and man. I bless you with abounding love. Oh, so much love. Love that overflows and overflows. That should be a source of comfort and healing to, to those you meet. You are blessed, my son, with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. Go in the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And Holy Spirit, I ask that you would lock in, that you would lock in and seal all the words of the blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs>